I'm with Margate coach Elliot Leverson. Um, Elliot, going to get to know you a bit more now. Yeah. Um, obviously, you joined the club in the summer yeah. with uh, Andy Drury, mm-hmm. um, part of his coaching staff. First of all, how are you finding it? Yeah, really enjoying my time at the club. Um, it's my first time as a coach with a first team, so I'm really happy to be involved and really enjoy my experience so far. And in terms of that um, experience for you, like you say, you mentioned first time being in and around the first team. Yeah. Um, just how you finding it? Is it is it more challenging than you thought? Is it what you expected? Uh, it was sort of what I was expecting because I was involved with it as a as a player when I was a bit younger. So I sort of I sort of knew what I was coming into, but I really enjoyed it. The boys have been great. I you know, get along well. I, I knew a couple of them already, which was quite helpful. But um, you know, everyone's been really welcoming, and obviously the gaffer and James and George have been really helpful as well in you know, getting me involved in things. So yeah, like I say I'm just really grateful for the opportunity and just happy to be to be amongst the boys. Lots of the fans have sort of seen you stood in the yeah. stood in the dugout, sat in the dugout, taking yeah. taking pretty much warm ups and etc. Yeah. Um, how do you define your role here as a coach at Margate Football Club? Uh, I mean, the title probably is just first team coach, but I'm just sort of trying to help out as much as I can. So, like you said, doing the warm ups, getting involved in training, doing some sessions here and there, and obviously trying to do some, you know, more like the fitness side of things. And Gaff is talking about if we can try and get some player tech pods, the GPS, and get involved with all those sort of things. So, it's just trying to help out as much as I possibly can, really, and just give as much as I can to benefit the team. In terms of the start of the season, obviously, we're sort of four games in now by the time this goes out it may be five at Cray Wanderers um, mm-hmm. but how would you assess that opening sort of month of the season now I mean only one defeat at the moment obviously yeah. um, but are you, are you and the coaching staff pleased with where we're at? Yeah it's still early days so it's hard to you know to gauge where we're truly at obviously there's a lot of new boys coming into the team as well with a, lot of couple, a, a couple of changes here and there so it's, it's hard to properly judge but um, obviously we started well against Kinstonium and Bowers was a good win. Obviously, Brighton City wasn't great, and you know we had to address a few things in the change room at full time, and that was, and you know we had a great reaction t- uh, against um, Horsham. So you know the things are looking good, and they're just getting a bit of consistency about the boys, and you know just trying to be positive and take as much as we can into every game. And you've experienced a couple of her match days at Hartstown Park now. Yeah. Obviously, uh, Friday night one as well, 575 yeah. um, that night, and, and, and over 500 nearly on the match day one mm-hmm. um, they're an excitable crowd aren't they yeah. what, what do you make of them Margate fans so oh, they're, far? they're brilliant we love the chance they do from the bench and it, it really can ha- affect how the boys play you know when they're in a full voice they, the boys really get a massive buzz from it and it can change the game and it can genuinely win the, win the game so you know we love the support they get and it's great support away from home as well you know from a couple of away games we've been to there's been a great support and they're nice and loud so it really does give the boys a big boost and you know we absolutely love it there and just finally, I think we want a bit of an insight into the changing room, but you may know him just as much as anyone else, but what's the gaffer like in that changing room on, on a match day? Is it, uh, is it stress or you know can what? he have a bit of fun? <laughs> no, he's very relaxed on a, on a game day. He's very calm before the game. He can have a bit of banter with the boys and that's exactly what everyone wants. You know, They want a nice, relaxed manager who they feel they can talk to and you know address their problems and issues with, but also at the same time, when things aren't going right and players aren't doing what they should, he knows exactly when to tell them what they're doing wrong and the players know they have to respond to that otherwise you know they might come out of the team and might be some changes so um, you know it's, it's a perfect mix for me in my opinion that's brilliant you've had balls pelt without you as well yeah. you've done well yeah. there earlier well done thanks for your time Steve. perfect cheers, cheers. Well. thank nice you one.